So far the sequences we've been looking at are called arithmetic sequences. Arithmetic sequences increase or decrease by the same amount from one figure to the next every time. So for example, in this first one we were counting, first we started with 6 and we added 8 to get to 14 and we added 8 again to get to 22. We added 8 again to get to 30 and we would continue adding 8s all the way down the line. If we want to quickly come up with a direct formula for an arithmetic sequence, we want to ask ourselves two questions. Question number one, what are we counting by? What are we counting by? Question number two, what number should come before the first number? Or another way to say that is what is figure number zero? Those are our two questions. So in this scenario, what are we counting by? We're counting by 18s. A lot of you found that out, counting by 18s. What number should come before the first number? What is figure number zero? Figure number zero has two squares in it because if I had to add 18 to get to 20, that means I must be starting with two. That's the information that we need. What are we counting by? We're counting by 18. What number comes before the first number? Two comes before the first number. Now, this is how the formula works. Total for any figure number equals 18 times the figure number plus 2. The number that we're counting by times the figure number plus what was figure number 0. All right, and then this is how that works, right? For, for figure number 0, of course, f is 0 and my answer is 2, right? For figure number 1, f is 1, 18 times 1, plus 2 is 20. For figure number 2, f is 2, 18 times 2 is 36, plus 2 is 38, and on down the line. And the beauty of this direct formula is I can find the answer for any figure number in the entire sequence. So if I wanted to find, the question we asked was, what's the hundredth What's the total number of squares in the hundredth figure? And that would be 18 times 100 plus 2, or 1,802. All right, if you came out with 1,802 squares in the hundredth figure, then good job to you. Right, let's look at a couple more like this, right? Let's look at our first one. This time we were counting by 8s. So my formula is going to start like this. 8 times the figure number, and then I need to ask myself a question. Okay, figure number 0, the figure that comes before the first figure, how many items are in it? In this case, we got to start with a negative 2, because negative 2 plus 8, to keep my pattern going, is 6. So, 8 what are we counting by? Times a variable, and then adjust by minus 2, because figure number 0 is minus 2, or minus 2 comes before my first number. Once again, 8 times 1 is 8, minus 2 is 6. 8 times 2 is 16, minus 2 is 14. 8 times 3 is 24, minus 2 is 22. 8 times 4 is 32, minus 2 is 30. This direct formula will work for the entire sequence okay that's always going to work so two questions to ask yourself what are we counting by that will multiply a variable and then what number comes before my first number